Welcome back to Autodesk Maya. In this story, we're going to discover the random mash node in Maya. So uh, I, this is where we left off before, uh, kind of. I basically have uh, created a cool mash object here that is distributing over another uh, object through the mesh uh, option. So uh, just to refresh your memory on how to create these uh, sort of mash network, you select an object and then go to the uh, FX menu set in here on the left. So make sure you're in the FX, choose mash and then create mash network. And that will create the network for the object. So previous tutorials, we explored the repo and the distribute. So this one down here, what I've chosen is the, um, uh, the mesh option and use a sphere. So um, I'm basically going to delete this one. We don't need this one, but I just wanted to show you that that process of how to create one in case you missed those tutorials. But in the mesh distribute here, I have mesh selected here, you can see. And under the mesh options, you can see I have a sphere that is selected. So if I increase this number, or if I chose to flood the mesh, you would see that this is a sphere, right? So it's a sphere with these little cubes, uh, which are kind of extruded cubes. So I just basically decided to add just 600 points and create this cool uh, sort of stadium quality here. So uh, what we're going to do now is add the random nodes. So you just select the mash one node that you've been working on and you can add additional nodes, which is really cool. And so basically in here, you can see there's the random one. You just click on it, choose add random node. And now all of a sudden, all kinds of craziness has happened here, as you can see here. So if we go to the mash random node, you can see here we have positions, rotations and scales all can be randomized, which is pretty cool. Um, so let me zoom out a little bit so you can see this, but here's the position X. You can see you can get some pretty cool effects just by adjusting these little sliders here. And again, all of these are animatable. You can animate and key each of these uh, frames here. So pretty cool stuff that you can, you know, have fun animating again, just with the little sliders here. Of course, the scales, which can be really interesting. So tons of possibilities with motion graphics. Uh, can have lots of fun sort of you know re rendering out some interesting animations there uh, you can choose the uniform scale here which will then disable the scale sort of aspect and then um, there's this random seed which kind of randomly places it sort of uh, the distribution across the, the threshold here um, and then if you scroll down you've got these strength options which is the strength of that randomness. So you can adjust it afterwards, which is kind of cool. So you can adjust the random strength quality and the strength quality here. You can adjust the steps here of where it basically is applied in terms of randomness. So you can see how incredibly powerful uh, just two nodes together. I mean, we have a distribution node with the mesh and then we have randomness. Uh, basically and if we animate it I mean, we could have tons and tons of fun here and of course you can always enable or disable just by unchecking and rechecking this so that is the random node of the mash network until next time see you soon in autodesk maya cheers